feeling strong, sharing kindness, it's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete, you have mine, do you know you are my very best friends? Then, all of a sudden, I'm airborne, and then Rainbow Dash looks over and is like, eh, nice moves, kid. Wow, she really said that? I mean, it's like she practically told me she wanted to take me under her wing, teach me everything she knows, and become, like, my big sister. I don't know about all that. It was a really nice compliment and all, but... I know, I know. But all that stuff I said could happen, right? Sure, absolutely. I just need to find a way to spend some time with her. You know, so she can see more of my awesomeness. Well, uh... Apple Jack and I are supposed to be camping up at Winsome Falls this weekend. Maybe I could get my big sister and invite Rainbow Dash, and then you could come too. Really? Sure. I wanna go. Well, duh. Of course you can go. And I'll get Rarity to come too. Rarity loves camping. I despise camping. All of that <laughs> nature. Apple Jack's going with her little sister, but no. You don't want to spend time with me. Oh, all right. Oh, of course, I will need to find an outfit more appropriate for roughing it. Ooh. See? Told you she'd want to go. You packed the bug spray? Yep. You got the canteens? Yep. Looks like we're all set then. Hey, Rarity, did you remember to pack? Oh, well, let's see who gets the last laugh when you're absolutely desperate to curl your lashes and you realize you didn't bring your eyelash curler. Well, looks like we're all set now. But what about Rainbow Dash? Is a Rainbow Dash coming? Of course she is, Sugar Q. She's gonna meet us up at our first campsite. Oh. All right, y'all, let's move them out. The last thousand times you asked that, the answer was no. This time, it's actually yes. There's Rainbow Dash up there right now. All right, Scootaloo, you just play it cool. Dash, what's up? What took you guys so long? Well, some of us didn't pack as light as the others, so we were slowed down a bit. Looks like you'll be sharing a tent with me, huh? <laughs> if that's okay with you. Sure, as long as you don't snore. You don't snore, do you? Nope, no way, not me. Never snored a day or <laughs> night in my life. Then you and I are gonna get along just fine. You have got to be kidding me. Sweetie Belle, do be a dear and see if you can find some fresh flowers for my bedside vase. Hey, Scootaloo, do be a sweetheart and see if you can gather some firewood. <laughs> Seriously, though, can you get us some wood for the fire? Of course. Okay, everybody get comfortable. Because I'm about to tell you the best story you ever heard. Is it about the time when Rarity had wings and then they got ruined and then you saved her from plummeting to her doom? Okay, maybe it's the second best story you ever heard but probably still the scariest. You like scary stories, right? <gasps> mm -hmm. It all happened on a night, just like this one, in a forest, just like this. And then, the olden pony asked, who's got my rusty horseshoe? Not me. Yo, yo! <laughs> <clears throat> Something in my throat. 
I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> Good story. Knew you wouldn't be scared. <laughs> Way you jumped that cart the other day? You're like me. Fearless. Yeah, fearless. <laughs> Don't worry. Rarity is here to keep you safe and sound. <sighs> Think it's about time for me to hit the straw. Don't you worry, little sis. There's no olden pony in our tent. Uh, that sure was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> How they were all afraid of the olden pony, <laughs> but not me. <laughs> That's because you're tough. Just like when I was your age. Ah! I'm hitting the sack. Come in whenever you feel like it. It's, it's nothing. It's just my imagination. And that isn't the thundering stomp of the olden pony. What's that noise? Is there a bug in here? <sighs> I don't know about you, but I slept like a filly. Best night ever. Glad you rested up, because we've got a long trek ahead. Totally gonna be worth it when we get to Winsome Falls. Yeah, totally. <gasps> Am I sweating? Oh, I think I'm sweating. Oh, uh... But it's absolutely worth it to get to spend time with my little sister. It's just that this cart feels like it's getting heavier all the time. I don't care if that cart's as heavy as a pack of mules. If we don't get a move on, it'll be dark before we get to the campsite. <gasps> Sorry! I'll just ride ahead to make sure the path is clear. No, we don't want to be out here after dark, right? Doesn't matter to me. Well, you know, it's for the scary ponies. <laughs> <sighs> Fall asleep now. We've got to get to that campsite before dark. than a worm and an apple on cider making day. What gives, Goodaloo? Uh, nothing. I just thought I heard something. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because you seem a little jumpy. Just getting my exercise. You know how important it is to stretch out those hindquarters every so often. <laughs> uh, do you, you need a little help? That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, what are friends for? No 
No need for tents tonight, y'all. We'll just take shelter in that cave. All right! A deep, dark cave. <laughs> Perfect for the story I've got for tonight. All we need is a campfire, and we're good to go. Uh, of course. I'll be right back with lots of firewood from the deep, dark, not scary at all forest. Thanks. <sighs> okay, I can do this. On the count of three, I will get those branches. One, two, three. Than a Timberwolves toenail. <sighs> Where's that, Schoolu? <laughs> Here you go. That's it? It's all I could find, because, you know, there aren't that many trees around here. It's all we need. Why don't you sit with Rainbow Dash for a while? <laughs> Was I? Oh, yeah. The scary part. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I tell tonight's story? All right. Just make sure it's a horrible one. There once was a really, really nice pony who lived in a bright and sunny land where there are rainbows every day and lots and lots of happy friends. And no offense, but it's not a real campfire story unless some pony's shaking. I've been told that these very woods are haunted by the headless horse. It gallops only at night. If it doesn't have a head, then how in tarnation does this pony know where it's going? It's headless, not brainless. Looking for little lost ponies. So where's its brain? Ugh. Fear was dripping from the end. They were never heard from ever again. <gasps> never? Never. Worry, you'll be safe with me tonight. It's not time for bed yet, is it? Afraid so, Scootaloo. Uh, uh, but we haven't even sung any campfire songs yet. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> 99 buckets of oats on the wall. 99 buckets of oats. Hey, Gwenda, pass it around. You got 81 buckets of oats on the wall. 41 buckets of oats. Hey, Gwenda, pass it around. You got 40 buckets of oats on the wall. Just one more song. Anyone? How about a dance contest? I know you love to cut a rug, so how about we mess up a cave floor? I have a brilliant idea. Hide and seek. Who's with me? Uh, uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, seems like you don't really want to go to sleep tonight. Is there some reason why? <laughs> of course not. I just love camping and hanging out with Rainbow Dash so much that I don't want to waste a single minute with sleep. <sighs> <sighs> Silly sleep. That's cool and all, Scoot. But this pony needs her shut eye, and she needs it now. <sighs> this is so unfair. <sighs> <sighs> I'm falling asleep.
Mistaken, but I hope not disappointed. You are so, so much better than the Headless Horse. But what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in Canterlot? I am the Princess of the Night. Thus it is my duty to come into your dreams. Oh, yeah. Wait, this is just a dream? But it feels so real. I assure you that you are asleep. But when you wake, the thing that frightens you most will still exist. The Headless Horse? Hmm. Is the Headless Horse really what frightens you the most? Mm -mm. I'm afraid Rainbow Dash will find out I'm not as tough as she thinks I am. Every pony has fears, Scootaloo. Every pony must face them in their own way. But they must be faced, or the nightmares will continue. Dream. <gasps> but the headless horse isn't. Rainbow Dash said it lives here in these very woods. It's the wicked Winnie of the headless horse. <sighs> so it's a horse without a head, which means it doesn't have a mouth. And if it doesn't have a mouth, then it's not a horsey pony kind of horse. But still, it's a horse without a head! Time for you to face your real fears, Scootaloo. <sighs> I'm so, so sorry, Rainbow Dash. I just wanted you to hang out with me and see how cool I was so you'd take me under your wing, teach me everything you know, and become like my big sister. But then you started telling those spooky stories and I got scared. I thought I heard the Headless Horse, so I ran out here by myself and... <laughs> well... I guess you know the rest. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you something, but if you ever tell any pony else, I'm gonna deny it. First time I heard those stories, I was scared too. <laughs> you were? Sure, I mean, I got over it because I realized pretty quick that if there was such thing as a headless horse, I could totally take it on. So, you're looking for some pony to take you under their wing, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might be up for something like that. Really? As long as you don't go falling into any more rivers in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's a deal. I call sister teams! Last prayer to make it to the falls is a moldy carrot! Ugh, if you insist. Got my 
our show. Here it is for pony's sake. Now take it and stop all your moaning. Thank you, and have a nice day. Ha, ha, ha.